the number one cause of death for these poor animals at the racetrack would be the broken legs. And Princess Lily B was a um, poor animal. This filly, I believe she was only four years old, and she broke both of her front legs. And they caught the whole thing on video. And you know, the horses that are being killed here recently, it's being really well documented. And we're getting the whole thing on video. The most recent casualty was Arms Runner. He collided with another horse and Arms Runner went, you know, tail over teapot and he broke one of his front legs. And it's all caught on video. He was holding up a front leg that was snapped. And what's really sad is that these animals weigh 1,000 to 1,200 pounds. They make very poor surgical candidates. 65% of their weight is on their front legs. So when horses fall and break their legs, it is most commonly a front leg. You can't operate on them. It doesn't work. Um, so they have to kill them. They euthanize them. And I hate when they say they died. These horses didn't die. They were killed. Dying implies natural causes. And there is nothing natural or normal about what is happening here. These horses are drugged. They're whipped and they're forced to run so hard that their lungs bleed. That's not dying, that's called being killed. Anyone in their heart is a compassionate person and people with their own pets can understand that animals have feelings, deserve love, um, deserve humane treatment um, and comfort and you know all the things that a living being and creature deserves to experience. I came here five years ago. I never thought about the horses. I thought about where I was gonna sit, what I was gonna wear, who I was gonna bet on. We don't question ourselves enough, you know, and we don't understand that we have the right answer if we just ask ourselves and we're honest about it. Your dollar is a vote. So vote for what you believe in. And when you think it's not a big deal, oh, it's just a $2 bet, you are feeding this industry and keeping it alive. And we need to cut it off.